Hey everyone. Tonight we're exploring a place called Dunn Moving, California. This place is off Route 395, which was once known as the Six, Route 6. But now this place is a ghost town. I'm Frank, and this is Driven by Adventure. We're going to explore the unknown. So I did a little research of this place. Dumb movie started at, out as a uh, Cohen Station, named after James Cohen, who set up a service station back in the 1900s uh, just so it could service uh, Cerro Gordo. And here now, uh, back in 1937, uh, people were passing through this place quite often. And it was a major major stop and basically this was a lifeline in the middle of nowhere at the time in 1937 and somehow they changed the name to done moving or done moving is so <laughs> kind of a weird quirky name done moving uh, i guess they were just done moving so they settled here but like most towns small towns like this Dunn moving didn't last, or we should say James Cohen to Dunn moving didn't last. And just kind of like a little brief history of this place. It was uh, just off the side of the road, as you can see right there. That's 395. Uh, it just became a ghost town because fewer people started passing through this place. This is this basically, I believe this is building was the restaurant and lobby area. This looks like the bathroom. I just got to make sure if I step foot into these places, I don't come across any unwanted critters like uh, rattlesnakes and possibly maybe a mountain lion or a bobcat maybe even a bear this looks like the uh, kitchen it's hard to tell it's just so destroyed it's just just don't understand why people have to do this kind of stuff oh well I guess that's what makes it an adventure looks like the bar maybe the bar area yeah looks like a bar Just imagine you traveling down Route 6, you stop here, maybe for a meal and a drink, share a few stories of your journey <laughs> to wherever you're going at the time, or you're heading to Cerro Gordo, or you're going to Death Valley, or you're going to Lone Pine, or maybe Bishop, maybe you're going to... Uh, well, let's see. Where else could you be going? You can go to the mountains. Uh, Mammoth. I don't know if it was called Mammoth back then. I'd have to look that up. This looks like the lobby area. It's, it's so hard to tell. There's very information, very little information about this place very very little information it just basically tells you that this was James Cohen uh, service station and James Cohen was a homesteader uh, he was from Newfoundland and I and I believe he was doing what something with the silver uh, from uh, 
they were bringing down from Cerro Gordo. Just checking to make sure. I don't see any snakes out here. I guess I should correct myself, rattlesnakes. Sometimes, you know, rattlesnakes will go up against the uh, rocks, the native rocks, because they're warm from the sun. This is a small cottage. It could have been for the, maybe the service people that lived here. Maybe this is where they kind of stayed, or it could have been for the people passing through and they wanted to stay for a night. It could be one of their cottages. You know, back then it was probably like two dollars to stay here for the night. Now it'd be like six hundred and eighty bucks because you're in California. You got to add on the, to state taxes. Pretty basic bed, bathroom, shower. Just enough for home for the night. Water heater. I think I'm gonna have to put some, uh, I don't know, some kind of a sound, sound in the video here, just to make it feel eerie, scary. You know, there's there's stories about this place. It's kind of it's kind of odd, I think, with very little history of anything. Anything about this place that people would say they've seen shadow figures, they hear eerie sounds, unexplained noises. I just I can explain my the noises I hear. The noises I hear are rats running around, the wind blowing. I don't know, roof, like shingles, maybe something slapping against the uh, buildings. Uh, I forgot my phone. Oh wait, you hear that noise? It's a bird. It's a bird. I heard a bird up there. So I believe this house here is James Cohen's place. Ah, sagebrush, lots of it. We ain't gonna walk through that. We gotta be safe. Let's go around. Yeah, I believe this was James Cohen's home. This is where he lived. It's kind of the largest house in the area. Kind of fitting for the man who started this place. It's supposed to be like a... What a house is a hall right there. You know, when you come to places like this, these abandoned places, you know, I do think of my safety when I do do this. I pay attention. I'm always aware of my surroundings. I tried one time putting a GoPro on my head and recorded instead. And then I would probably, I was going to have a seizure from watching it because I moved my head so much. And uh, right now what I do is I... I have my camera up against my chest just below my chin and I walk around and I turn my tor torso very slowly so when I'm turning my shoulders I, I turn my body very slowly so that I don't have sudden movements but uh, 
I'm constantly moving my head, keeping an eye out for anything and everything when I'm walking around these places. And, um, yeah, I do think of my safety. And I do hear lots of sounds, and all the sounds are pretty explainable. Cars, animals running, rats, lots of rats, a lot of rats in these places. And, you know, there's some rabbits, coyotes can be in these places, bobcats. This is, looks like the porch. You can look at the highway of the cars driving by. Of course, pile of shoes. That was a piece of tie wire and it got stuck to my pants. So I think this was like the dining area, the kitchen for the homeowner for James Cohen. Might have had a refrigerator over here. So besides James Cohen, a few other people lived here. Uh, the service, basically the sta service station workers uh, and their families, they all called this place home at one time. Some might have even done a little bit more farming in the area. It's, it's good uh, soil in this area so they could do farming and they might have been miners too. So this was, there are a lot of um, little houses in the area they're kind of scattered all over the place here but they're small really small so that this place we explored done move in California place frozen in time full of history and maybe a few ghosts i don't know Ooh, look at the rat that's a pack rat that's what you hear pack rats uh thanks for joining me on this adventure if you enjoyed hit the subscribe button and check out more of my content on driven by adventure i'm frank remember explore the unknown thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.